Hey guys, Mac to channel. Today we are going to be looking at some leaked stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we have some leaked stuff for Dragon Isle, along with some leaked stuff for Winterfest. So we are going to start off with the stuff that's in-game. Um, we have a bunch of new buddies that were added today, so you can see three of them here. We are not going to look at those quite yet. Um, we're going to look at the ones up here first, and these are new Dragonlings. So we have the fire dragonling right here which this is what it looks like i think we've probably sort of seen this one leak before although i think that might be the uh, plant version now that i think of it but this says fire dragonlings are very hot and oven mitts are suggested for petting and picking up this is a power bonus of 45 we also have the ice dragonling which is going to have a defense bonus of 45 and it says if ice cream and cold drinks are your thing, look no farther, ice dragonlings are for you. So, we also have the plant version of this, which has a defense bonus of 45. It says plant dragonlings commune with nature and can make any plant grow instantly. So, yeah, that's the plant one. I think this is the one that we have had leaked for a bit, probably about a year or two. And then we have the storm dragonling right here. Um, and it says, very emotional by nature, storm dragonlings always swing to the extremes. And this has a dodge bonus of 45. Um, I think its icon is probably the coolest out of all of these. And then we have the water dragonling, which looks like this. It has a heart bonus of 45, and it says, very handy to put out fires, water plants, or to wash the mud off your boots. So... Not really anything too special, they're kind of just all copies of the Astral Dragonling. And we can go ahead and look at the other two Dragonlings that we down have down here. The Shadow Dragonling, which looks pretty cool. It has a dodge bonus of 45, and it says, Often used as spies by wizards, Shadow Dragonlings are able to dart in and out of the shadows. And then we have the Physical Dragonling, which has a power bonus of 45 and says extremely strong physical dragonlings can carry out bat massive boulders can carry out or bat massive boulders out of the way with ease so those are all the dragonlings we are going to be getting one for every single element we haven't got like the uh ones that are flapping or the ones that look like the shadow one that we already have in the game so maybe we'll get those, I'm not 100% sure. And then we also have Flurry, which is a new buddy. Um, this is probably going to be coming in Winterfest. Uh, it kind of looks like that one cloud buddy that we already have is maybe called Stormy or something. Um, but this one has a heart bonus of 65, and it says this fluffy little snow cloud can drizzle wet snow all day long. So I would assume this comes in Winterfest or part of the treasure track if we're going to get one that's winter themed. I'm not sure though. So that seems to be about every item that was added in the game. Um, we do also have some sort of new shop update, although I wouldn't really call it, um, or I wouldn't really say that it's too important. So if we go to the shop and load in, and we go to all shops, the Dragon Isle store, Rift Event Shop, looks um, a little different. This is just the new images that it has for the shop. Um, I don't think that they actually did add anything new into it yet. I think that we will see the Dragon Links in here eventually. And we'll be able to spend, like, uh, I don't even know what the currency is going to be called. But there's going to be some sort of currency that you get from Dragon Isle that you're going to be able to buy things in this shop. Now, also in the special offers, um, there were a few things added. You can now buy some of the former Crystal Cavern stuff. You can also get the Snowman Suit, the Snowman Relic. You can get Tundrift, Spectral, and Shade, along with uh, the Candy Cane Buddy, which is kind of sad to see that it's in the special offers. So, yeah. That is all the stuff that was added in-game. Now, we actually do also have a few leaked, or I guess there's only two leaked pets that are coming to Prodigy. So, these, or this is going to be an evolution, or I guess a de-evolution of Blizzard. So, this is the icon for it. It looks a little odd, but uh, its, spine, or its sprite looks even weirder. Um, this is the 
looks fine for it, and here is what it looks like put together. Kind of weird, I expect this to be the first evolution of Blizzard. So, that's its attack animation. We can also see this is its idle animation, which not really anything interesting here. And then we have the walk animation, which is just it jumping around. And then we also have what I assume is going to be an evolution of Blizzard. So this is what's going to be after Blizzard and be the third evolution in the chain. So that's the icon. This is what the spine for it looks like. And then here is the sprite for it. So this is what it's going to look like put together. Um, here is the attack animation for it. So I guess it kind of looks cool. Um, it does look sort of like Blizzard. Um, then we have the idle animation, which, not really anything interesting here. And then the walk animation, it will slide on its belly, which I think Blizzhair does as well. Now, a few things that were updated in this is called the Event Winterfest, so not really anything too interesting here. The sign was updated to be HD, or I guess maybe rasterized now, I don't even know what you'd call that sign. So, yeah, nothing too interesting here. Now, we also have the statue boss Winterfest, and sadly, um, the boss is going to be the Ice Worm. So, we're not going to get um, some unique boss, I'm guessing. Uh, it'll just be like the Ice Worm and the Shadow Worm. But yeah, this is what the boss for Winterfest is going to be. Now, we also are going to be getting... Um, a custom map update for Winterfest, so this is what Lamplight Town will look like in our on the map during Winterfest. So yeah, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And then we also have a new tile set, so some new stuff was added to the tile set for Winterfest. Um, you can see up here we have two new types of lanterns, which look pretty cool. So they're going to be, or they're going to be frozen over, I guess. And we have one that sort of has like a Santa hat on it, although that's probably just snow. And then I don't even know what this is. It looks sort of like a plant. Um, there's also going to be a snowman. I think it looks a little different from what it normally looks like. Uh, we're going to have some new trees, although those, those might already have looked like that. Um, this bag right here, I think used to have like a normal stuffed bear in it, but now it's going to be the polar bear buddy as the um, stuffed bear instead. Now we also have some stuff down here which looks pretty cool. Um, this is going to be mystical. Um, I think they changed what the statue for it looks like, so this is new. Um, those statues that you see by the arena, those are going to be updated to ice. This looks very cool. Um, the banners on the arena are going to be updated to be winter-themed as well. Um, the statue for the dragon in Lamplight Town in the top left is going to be updated to be ice. This looks pretty cool. And then we have sort of like a snowman family. I guess those will probably go with this guy up here. Um, I guess we'll be seeing a kid, a wife maybe, and a dog. And then, I don't think this, uh, water is frozen. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if it was. And then, here's what Town Square will look like. Now, we also got this thing, which is called UI7 Level Membership. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe you're going to be able to get 7 levels when you're starting off, or they'll just give you 7 levels if you become a member. Uh, not really sure, though, what it will actually be for. Now we also have this, you already saw this, this is called Item Cycle Rift Shop. And yeah, it's just going to be the cover for the Dragon Isle Shop. We also have Rift Cycle FR1, I don't know what FR is supposed to mean. Um, but I think this is going to be for announcing that um, you're going to be able to like spend these uh, Dragon Isle currencies that we're going to be getting. Um, you'll be able to get them from Rifts, and you'll be able to spend them within a certain time, I guess, by the looks of this calendar right here. Now, we also have this, which is called Rift Cycle FR2. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. 
Um, but yeah, this is just what it's going to look like. Not really anything I can say here since I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. And then we have Rift Cycle FR3, which I guess this would be saying spend these in the shop. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that was added today. Nothing added that was very interesting in the metadata, nothing added in the data. So that is going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.